Tracking the major winter storms heading our way. Storm system number one just starting to wrap up for our Tuesday evening. Finally seeing the rain turn over to snow in the Sierra. It's basically been rain all day. Windy. We had a wind gust in the Sierra at 140 miles per hour. Gusts in the valley closer to 50 miles per hour. But finally seeing the snow along 80 and 50. Most of the heaviest stuff and widespread is now moving south of Highway 50 and even in through Southern California. This was going to be our biggest storm in the series lined up in the Pacific. These are big atmospheric rivers and they're just going to keep coming. Tracking storm number two and three on the way for this week. So here's the storm lineup as it plays out for the rest of the week. Wednesday morning, we get valley fog. Sierra snow will come to an end by Wednesday evening through Thursday. Lighter showers, but storm system number two will hit us during that time frame. With snow level actually rising during the day on Thursday. Now that's going to lead us right into that Friday, Saturday storm. That one is a bit wetter, so we're going to see periods of moderate to heavy rain and the shifting snow level. It will be going up and down the hill through the series of this storm Friday into Saturday, lowering Saturday night. That does mean for a snowy New Year's Eve for the Sierra, clearing during our Sunday forecast, but the valley is going to be dry as we ring in the new year. It won't last long, though. Here's a look at some of our rain totals. This is just a general overview, about an inch to an inch and a half for most of the valley. You saw some pockets in there of slightly higher rainfall totals in the Bay Area, one to four inches. And then we saw roughly about two to five plus inches for the foothills. Also seeing some impressive rainfall totals for the Sierra. It's been really hard to measure just simply because we've gotten a mixed bag of rain and snow. Some of those key locations, though, Blue Canyon over four inches of rain, Sonora over two and a half inches of rain, over two inches for Fairfield there in Solano County, Auburn with over an inch and a half of rain, and Folsom coming in at 1.5 inches of rain from storm system number one. It's great, though. We really need the rain. This is the beneficial part of this series of storms. Once we start to see in storm system number two, three, and what looks to be a wet week next week, that's where we're going to start to keep a closer eye on some of the river levels and the bigger bodies of water. But for right now, again, bringing up those rainfall totals since October 1st, the beginning of our water year. Just about a couple days ago, we were looking at deficits growing to almost six inches for parts of Northern California. That has come down considerably down to about two to three and a half inches behind where we normally should be, but above average for Central California. Our winter storm warning stays in effect until four o'clock tomorrow morning. 50 to 100 mile per hour wind gusts, blowing snow continuing. It is very difficult travel in the high country. On the other side of things, we're also looking at this avalanche warning that will extend throughout the Tahoe Basin down towards Yosemite, especially for backcountry areas, gale force wind, winds. And this is primarily because we're getting rain followed by snow, and that's going to make those slopes very vulnerable to widespread uh, uh, unstable snow through Wednesday morning. We may see more of that type of action, especially as we get into that Friday, Saturday storm. So tonight we're seeing the snow come to an end for the Sierra dry for tomorrow morning with areas of dense fog. Some foggy conditions mean slowing down, allow for extra travel time, increasing following distance and using low beams and dense fog could delay travel as well. This is still a big holiday week. There's many weather elements we're dealing with on our travel. Rain will be heaviest on Friday. Snow is going to be heaviest Friday evening through Saturday, and the wind is going to be gusty Friday, but nothing like what we saw earlier today. That first storm system that comes through gives us roughly about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain in the valley and the foothills, and even through this year, totaling about a half an inch to an inch of rain. Snow will be slow to accumulate, so we're picking up for some of the lower elevations, about one to five inches. Higher elevations, though, looking closer to about 12 to 18 inches of snow. Once this first system winds down, we'll, we'll see a dry day on Wednesday, almost statewide, just a few lingering showers very early Wednesday morning for Southern California. Thursday, that next one rolls in. We'll see snow for this year, and this is really a nice snow producer for the high country. It should be great for the ski resorts. Now, on the unfortunate side of things, like I mentioned, we're going to see that fluctuating snow level. By Thursday night, we get the warmer air starting to move on in. That's going to bring up that snow line once again. So you can see on Friday morning, we're looking at rain mixed with snow for the high country, rain for the valley. This is a big plume of moisture, though, out in the Pacific. Nice atmospheric river coming through that will take us through most of Saturday. Saturday evening, if you're headed out for New Year's Eve plans, 
The valley looks dry and most of the coast. Now, it's still early to pinpoint the timing of this, but that's the way that things are playing out. Sierra snow is going to stick around for Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then we'll see that clearing. Again, we got more hazards coming our way with multiple systems in the pipeline with ponding water, roadway flooding, local street flooding, and rises on creeks and streams. The message, turn around, don't drown. That's going to be our rain hazards for the snow near whiteout conditions, major travel delays, and possible road closures, as well as chain controls. Travel is going to be highly discouraged by Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday. Total snow accumulation from storm system number three. And again, this one's going to have a lot more moisture to it, but a lot of fluctuating snow levels, only giving us about 12 to 36 inches north of Highway 50. South of Highway 50, where this really bull noses, will get closer to about 48 to 60 inches of snow by Saturday night. For rain in the valley, about 2 to 4 inches over towards the coast, 2 to 3 inches of rain, 5 to 7.5 inches of rain for the foothills. And for the Sierra, before we see that turnover to snow, it's about 4 to 5 inches of rain. So that's where we're looking at those impacts being a lot more runoff coming down the hill. The ground's already saturated, and now we're looking at a leaning wetter for the Climate Prediction Center January 4th through 10th. That means we get through this series of storms, and there's more coming our way. Reservoirs have plenty of capacity. This is where we stand right now. 30 to 32 percent of uh, our capacity there for Shasta, Oroville, and Folsom, New Malonis, and Don Pedro, 25 to 50 percent full. So any of the runoff, we have space for it coming into the reservoirs where we get a little bit more pressure and concern is going to be on the rivers. This is going to be a situation we not only watch through the weekend, but into next week because we have a pretty impressive atmospheric river that's gearing up for the middle of next week. So as we look at the mountain forecast, once again, we're picking up the rain and snow overnight Wednesday into Thursday, continuing into Friday, Saturday, and early Sunday morning. Then we'll see things winding down for a period of time. For the foothills, same situation. We get a break in that active weather late Saturday through Sunday. And for the coast, uh, New Year's Day right now is looking pretty good, as does New Year's Eve. Timing could shift just slightly though. The snowpack for the mountains, what that uh, water does to carry us through the dry years, it's a third of our water supply for the uh, for the valley and uh, for the entire state really. This is why we are so concerned about the rain on top of snow. We want to keep that snowpack in place until later in the season, say after that April 1st snow survey. Right now we're at 130 to 160 percent of average. These storms will help but again, it's a mix of rain and snow. But statewide, we're at 145% of average and 45% of that April 1st average as well. Once we get through tonight, we get a break from an, our atmospheric river plume that just keeps pulling in that moisture from the Pacific. We'll have a dry Saturday night and Sunday for the valley. And then Monday, we start to see a weaker system approach. The one that may be a bit more of a concern is this Tuesday one, where you can see it really expanding throughout not only uh, the coastal communities, but also starting to push inland as well. That will last into Wednesday and could be the time frame that we really start to look more closely at our rivers and our reservoirs, just kind of checking on where things are. And you can see this 10 day forecast just all lined up except for a couple of uh, hours of opportunity to get some dry weather in there uh, heading into the next 10 days, really.